Well, good evening. Noswonki here. Well, it's our last day in Kokura, and uh, we're going to head back to Osaka today and tomorrow uh, catch my flight home. Uh, we just had a small debacle. Went to a coffee shop for breakfast and um, after we ordered, we moved to another table and apparently I left my bag, my, this little bag, at the other table. Uh, and someone picked it up and took it to the lost property place. And it's got my passport in it. So, <laughs> we, we didn't realise, I didn't realise I'd lost it until a waitress came over and told us that the bag had been found and they took it to the lost property office. They found a passport in it. And only then she thought, ah, maybe it belongs to those people there. <laughs> So she came over and told us. So then another waitress took us down to the lost property office for the centre. Like it's a very strange uh, place. We had to go through some long tunnel, and we never would have found it if she hadn't taken us there. Anyway, so they gave it back. I had to, I had to give my fingerprint as a like a signature, to show that I'd picked it up. So there you have it. Small debacle. Well, we haven't really done much today except um, have breakfast twice. We had breakfast twice, really. Uh, and then we uh, put the train back to uh, Osaka. And uh, now I'm doing the washing. Well, I've done the washing, I've done the washing machine. Now I'm doing the drying. Well, the minute counter got to zero. Well, I got to one, and then I switched to CD. But it's been going for several more minutes. What does that mean? CD. I could read the instructions. If I was Japanese, I could read the instructions. Oh, we're in a smoke-filled restaurant full of Japanese businessmen. And we're going to eat, I don't know, some prawn or chicken. Prawn and chicken, probably. I got chicken. I think you are the only female customer in this restaurant. Really? I think so. Can't see any other women. Only the staff. So look, it's all... Well, for Yuko, the period of luxury coming out to restaurants every night has ended because tomorrow I will fly back to Australia and I'll leave her here. And see, when I'm not here, she, she can't go to a restaurant like this. She, she doesn't feel comfortable just being alone in a restaurant full of men, particularly. Actually, we did see a couple of women over there, but it's, it's more than 95% men. So, uh, yeah. so she's going to, you know, she'll buy a, a little box of food. She'll eat out of a box. And go back to the hotel and eat out of the box alone. It's very sad. <laughs> so how long how long will you do that? Another one week I think it's it's almost two weeks, I think. She'll be here almost two weeks after I leave. Almost. Yeah. Anyway. So uh, you know you, you can still drink beer though. She can buy beer at the vending machine. Take it to her room. Sydney has no vending machine for beer. That's right. <laughs> when, she, when she first came to Australia, one night she went out. 
she was living in some rented house, you know. One night she went out walking the streets looking for a vending machine to buy beer. That's right. And she, I she found, didn't find one. Uh, Esther, I asked, can I buy beer from They said, they be <laughs> <laughs> that is strange. Even if they had beer, they refused to sell it to you. Yeah. Yeah, those laws have changed now. It used to be that at restaurants you couldn't you couldn't just have a drink, you had to have a meal as well. You could go to a, a pub and have have a drink. She she was shocked by that situation. We've come to the 100 yen shop. Everything's 100 yen. Yuko's on a buying frenzy. Look at that. It's a wonderland of things worth 100 yen.